Hey guys, Ken Ross here and I'm a business consultant that specializes in cost reduction for businesses by looking at their essential expenses. And today I'm continuing my series on business tech tips where I go into some of the more technical things because I have an IT background on how I do some of these things for businesses. One of the things I know a lot of business owners have talked to me about and the reason why I started this series is how I produce content online. And so one of the biggest things I think I can help you understand is that there is a secret out in creator land, right? Most creators use this tool that I'm going to introduce to you if you haven't heard of it, and it's called OBS Studio. Now, sounds like a big word, or there's, there's really not much to it, but OBS Studio is something I know has changed the game for content creators. It is 100% free for people to use, uh, but the learning curve and the, the amount of time you need to spend to actually be very proficient in OBS Studio is something that you could spend probably a lifetime doing. But I want to simplify that for you. I want to show you some things, some quick tips of the trade here. And so I actually created a, a demonstration using OBS Studio. Believe it or not, I used OBS Studio to record how to use OBS Studio. So let's take a look at that. Okay guys, uh, so here's kind of how you want to get started. You want to go to obsproject.com here, and this is the website for OBS Studio. And you can see here's Windows, here's the uh, Mac version, and the Linux version. You just pick which version that you need, right, and install it. And uh, for the most part, they all operate very similarly. I'm, I'm using the Mac version. Uh, but I'm, I'm very familiar with people that use the Windows version. And I've talked to them and it looks very much the same. So you can see here there's a lot of places that use it. There's all these features here. You can add plugins and, and do things like that. Okay, once you get it installed, then you're going to have the console here with all of the different sources and things you can add. This is a scene that you can configure. All your scenes are over here. And it's kind of weird because obviously the scene I'm projecting is the screen, which has the configuration of the scene on it. If I switch to another scene like this, then you can see it's just the camera, right? And I can resize my face. So I'm going to do like this, see how it resizes it. And I can add certain things to the screen. So you got, um, this desktop view here, which is this screen right here, right? And you can see it's outlined in red. And then you have the camera, which is the camera that you want to configure uh, in OBS Studio. Um, I happen to um, set up multiple cameras so you can actually show a view of all three cameras. And that looks like this. So now you have a camera view of all three of your cameras if you have three cameras. Uh, if you don't have three cameras, then obviously that's something you, you can't do. But um, you can set up multiple scenes. You can put which things are in the scene. So this is this background. There's a background there. This one also has the display, the computer display, which I can move around. And then the camera, whichever camera I choose to, to pick. And you can see as I move it, it moves in the window. And you can configure where it looks like. So if I cut cut off some of it, it only show that much of it. If you come back over and show more. So that's kind of how OBS Studio works. And you have to really have um, good knowledge of just awareness of the space that you're using inside of the uh, studio. And you have to experiment. One of the things about um, being in computer science, it's called computer science for a reason. Now, that's kind of my my own take on it. If you if you're not using science, then you're really not trying to work with computers. You're just you're just trying to do something and hoping that you're not going to get in trouble or you're not going to break something. Computer science is always about breaking things and experimenting. So that's what I have for today, guys. Thank you for your time. I want to be a resource to you. I would really love it in the comment section below if you could tell me other tech related things that you want to accomplish in business that you think are not achievable 
without a lot of help. I have been able to tackle a lot of different topics, a lot of things in business, just by doing some simple research, reaching out to, to other experts, and, and understanding the expertise that would, would need to be had to, to do some of these things technically. And I want to make it very simple for you to approach those things. I am so excited to continue this journey. There are a few other things that I really want to cover. One of those things being the equipment that I use. I want to show you how everything is made when it comes to this. All the little details that make producing content online, producing something that is of some kind of quality that can distinguish you from your competition, that's worth it. Making a little investment in learning and educating yourself in business is something that would be very valuable to your business. One of the reasons why you, you have a big, when a bigger company has an initiative, they look for experts in certain areas because the thing that's going to set you apart from your competition is the level of, of knowledge in a space. Right? When Apple creates the new iPhone or when they're looking to produce new things design-wise, they aren't using cheap designers. They aren't just making it up. They're using people that are experienced in the industry, know how to design things very well, and those details do matter in the end result. So when it comes to doing things online, when it comes to producing content, having the leg up by educating yourself, being able to be in a position where you can do even some simple things that would improve the quality of what it is you're trying to produce by even a margin will set you apart from your competition. So that's why I produced this series, that's why this is so important to me, and hopefully for, for you guys you find value in it. When it comes to something like OBS Studio, there's a lot of creators out there, and I'll put some of those things in the comment section below that talk about some of the other particular details as you get into this space, but I would really encourage you that if you want to do anything in content creation, you want to produce anything online with video, that you download and install OBS Studio, and just check it out. You don't even have to do a whole lot with it right away. Just Having it as a resource and starting, that's a good step. And put in the comment section below if you downloaded OBS Studio and what you think about it. Also put in the comment section below, like I said, any topics you want me to cover. Anything that I can actually bring to you that would bring value. I would love to do that. And like, share, and subscribe this, this video to my channel. Share this video with your friends. Let your friends know I'm out here trying to help businesses grow in whatever ways I can. And visit my website. I am Ken Ross. And until I see you next time, see you around.